Hello, welcome back. It's me, Shiny Score Doorknob, or should I say Shiny Semicolon Doorknob, because <laughs> it's Science Gate. Um, I think I made that joke already, so you're going to have to forgive me for that one. But we're back. Uh, we just popped a nanner into the uh, phone waves, name subject to change. And um, we were thinking about putting Mayuri, a.k.a. Groundhog, in there. Uh, but she's not around yet, so we can't figure that one out. But, you know, maybe she comes by and I send the right text messages back to people. That's a possibility. Anywho, let's get right back into it and see what happened to our bananas. Banana, oh, pardon me. What are you doing? Well, uh, it's gone. Gone? What's gone? The banana. What is he talking about? I pushed Aru aside and look into the phone wave. I pushed Aru aside. I grab him by the ass and pull him over to the left and look into the phone wave. Name subject to change. It's gone. There's nothing inside. The banana has vanished without a trace. <sighs> After a short pause to collect myself, I whip on my phone and speak into the silence. It's me. Slight problem. We may have awakened something terrible. Ocarine Strong. What do you mean something terrible? I ignore Daru's panic cry. I'm surprised too. My heart's pounding. Doki, 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 but I try to appear calm. <laughs> I'm invoking emergency order 666. Activate the cold heart protocol. What? what do you mean we need a congressional approval? There's no time, you fool! Tokyo, we blasted Adam! I put my phone away after yelling. You, you should be an actor. Shut up, you Ferris stalker. Where'd you hide the banana? Who's a stalker? The banana. <laughs> Banana! Oh, where is it? Are you planning on becoming a street magician or something? You're the one who hit it, aren't you? Oh. Sorry, we gotta hear that one more time. <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. I realize my throat is dry. <gasps> where the hell did it go? How should I know? Where did you go? There's no fucking way that I can take that over. There's no fucking way. This soundtrack actually reminds me of like a, uh, the Halo 3 fucking soundtrack. <laughs> Banana! I take the turntable out of the microwave, scour every nook and cranny, but find neither peel nor semen nor stem of the banana. <laughs> Grr, minions be like. Oh no, minion reference. <laughs> Despicable. <laughs> Wait, I think I get it now. It's not an electromagnetic weapon. It's a teleportation device. What? Wait, that's absurd. How else could it have vanished? The microwave was closed. Um, maybe we should just calm down. Yeah, you're right. We each take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, I know. I'll eat one of the many bananas. That will calm me down. Shit, he's gone overboard. Imagine you take his shit and a banana. But what? Wild bananas in the toilet. Spelling mistake. I fucking win, Davey. I fucking win. I am the king of this fucking chat now. I reach for the bunch of bananas. <laughs> Whole bananas in the toilet. Um, I reach for the bunch of bananas. <gasps> what? Impossible. Impossible. Not three minutes ago, Daru plucked a banana from the bunch and put it inside the phone wave named subject to change. But now, there's no sign that a banana was ever plucked. The word pluck is so fucking good. Plucked. Instead, a single jellified banana has appeared among the regular bananas. Among? Among us? Took me half of the anime to fully understand everything going on, so... Can't fucking wait. It's gonna take the entire series of the fucking game for me to be like... Oh! Mayushi is Mayuri! Oh shit! What the hell's going on? Dar notices it too. He reaches out to touch it, but I quickly stop him. Wait, how many bananas are in the lab right now? 
just these, I think. Is this the gel banana attached to the same stem as the banana you just picked? I don't know, man. I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't look like it was ever plucked. No cuts or anything. Aside from the jellification, it looks completely normal. Hey, Taro, could this possibly be... The word I spoke impulsively a few seconds ago. I hesitate to speak it again. Vagina. But I must, because no matter how unbelievable it may be, we saw it with our own eyes. My head's full of question marks. I don't know how this happened, but if we were to explain it as I saw it, the banana that was inside the phone wave named such to change returned instantly to its bunch. In other words, a teleporter? We've invented a teleporter. Huh? Oh, is that Mary? I hear a girl's voice coming from the lounge. That looks like an interesting experiment. Who's there? My heart just skipped a beat. I turn towards the voice in surprise. <gasps> Flailing! Oh shit, it's not her at all. And get pierced by a sharp stare. <laughs> Suddenly I see her reaching out. <laughs> Game over. You did not ask Lukaku about his fucking Shida, whatever. And get pierced by a sharp stare. Impossible. What are you doing here? The 18-year-old genius girl, a sadist who humiliates men in public, also known as the zombie. Masi Makisa Kurisida. Nice exposition, bro. Who are you calling a zombie? What is the meaning of this? What is your purpose here? I'm here to see you, Okabe Rintaro san. Or is it a home? Yeah, she's She's doing the fucking uh, one eye winking thing. Kurisu's best girl in all of anime related media, NGL. Can't say that with her fucking tie looking like goddamn Christmas rapping. Wait, how the hell does she know my real name? I've never spoken in front of her. I was right. You're one of the organization's top agents, an Esper with human superhuman powers. No wonder you rose from the dead. I'm not dead, all right? Please stop killing me off. Hashira-san, can you do something about this guy? You came at a bad time, Makasishi. With Okarin freaking out like this, Tyra doesn't seem same to face with this girl's entrance. Pourquoi? You know what? Unfucks your timeline. <laughs> Unjellifies your banana. Tyra doesn't seem safe by this girl's entrance. Pourquoi? Have you betrayed me, Daru? Calm down, man. Are you breaking? Are you being blackmailed? Or did she seduce you? I glare at Kurisu. He's my right hand man. How dare you? You crushed the hot bitch! Just gotta get that out every once in a while. Get a hold of yourself. Kurisu's eyes flash dangerously. I think. Um. That's funny, he did it better. Such intensity from an 18 year old. Maybe she didn't resurrect after her first death. Maybe she's a robotic killing machine constructed to replace a dead Kurisu. Is that it? For now, I'll do as I'm told. Hashira san gave me the address after yesterday's lecture. He also told me your name. That's all? The Truth is kind of, kind of a letdown, honestly. So you're here to see me? Is that it? Yes. You claim to have seen me die. I came to see if that was the truth. Or just a pathetic excuse to grope me. I came for the answer. Now that she mentioned shit, she did treat me like I was a perv yesterday. Um, <laughs> kind of a perv, though, to try to look up under her shirt. But, I, it, you know, I, I guess it's context. Well, I suppose if she's grateful, she didn't call the cops on me after what I did. What, what what fucking choice did I have? No officer, I swear. <laughs> I was looking for a jellified banana. But what choice did I have? Anybody would react the same way if a dead person appeared appear before them, right? <laughs> oh shit, is that a dead bitch? The titty, Okabe, oh, oh, sexual assault, sexual harassment counter. <laughs> yeah, have it in the top fucking corner. But your current behavior is all the answer I need. It was all an act to grope me. My initial hypothesis was correct. Not so fast. <laughs> There's more to this. Wait, can I get the can I get the ring light in my glasses? I wish I could fucking. <laughs> Not so. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> There's more to this than you know. 
I must clear my name, or I'll be labeled as a perv forever. Anyway, let's put that aside for now. No. R really? That's a relief. I was sure she's gonna call the police. But that for now part bothers me. It's that. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. It was the music in the background. <laughs> it was a fucking YouTube video. I thought I stopped it and I was like, what is going on? I was like, why is it also way fucking louder than the fucking <laughs> Stupid boomer. Stupid boomer interrupts time travel. Uh, Reizuko Mitaro putting Gaina. Kurisu enters the development with a quick confident stride. Why does it smell like fucking B.O. in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. It makes sense. Even though she's only 18, she's got a decent figure and a good posture. She's got impressive thighs. Not much in the ch not much in the chest though. <laughs> Real stand-up guy. Nothing like the nothing like the titty actor from that one game. You know what I mean? With the huge Gunga Malus, like that fucking uh, Kira Miki. You know what I fucking mean? With those huge Robo Milgas. Her presence seems to fill the cramped room, driving me and Daru to the corners. Can't you tell this area is off limits? Can't you tell us? There's a no girls allowed sign, except for Mayuri. Kiramiki. Flat chest is best chest. Flat chest. I haven't probably introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Makasi Kirisu, the flat chested exchange student. That fucking joke died. She never wears her jacket on her shoulder, Sue. Pleased to meet you. She holds out her hand. What is she trying to do? Shoot lightning from her fingertips? Unlimited power! Am I Mace Windu? You can't even shake hands? Are all Japanese men this difficult? Shake hands? This girl's genius is asking for a handshake? We only met yesterday and just moments ago she was on the verge of calling the cops. All because I tried to lift her shirt. You're not Japanese? I've lived in America for seven years. What about it? America, the sacred land of burgers. I looked down at her slender fingers. Jesus fucking Christ. Glossy. <laughs> Glossy, healthy fingernails. No unnecessary nail polish. <laughs> what in the what pad? That is very fucking true. I stare, fixated. Fingernail pick when slowly I extend my hand making sure to keep enough weight on my heels so I can flee at a moment's notice I lightly grab the tip of Kirisu's index finger between my thumb and index finger then instantly let go Jojo reference <laughs> What's your problem? That is like the limp fish handshakes when you go to give a handshake and you go grab it and It's just fucking soft and you're like, oh no, what's your problem? <laughs> I can feel your aura, your aura of malice. You must be a powerful kung fu master. Don't be ridiculous. Then you're a... Then you're a ninja. Give it a rest. Damn, she's completely cold. Her tone gets scary sometimes, too. If you go up in America, shouldn't you say, Ha ha ha, nice to meet you, with a smile across your whole face when asking for a handshake? No, wait, you should be asking for a hug, right? Perhaps it's too much to expect from a killing machine. What kind of stereotype is that? Kurisu sighs. <sighs> she's not even looking at me. Instead, she's staring at the bananas next to the phone wave name subject to change. The bananas, which have just exhibited a most unusual phenomenon. Of the bunch, one has completely jizzified. Why is this banana fascinating? Kurisu brings her face closer to it to get a good look. Have any have any forceps? No! Oh. And then Kurisu stabs the gelatinous banana with her index finger. I, this fucking, uh, well, actually, Rem, it's a visual novel. Uh. <laughs> good joke, good joke, streamer! Um, yeah, this fucking game's lit. I've never played it before, but I'm 
fucking digging it so far. And then Karusu stabs the Lattice Planet with her index finger. <laughs> Based off an anime. Narc. She buries her beautiful fingertips knuckle deep into slimy banana. Oh, man. This is the Wattpad. This is the Wattpad episode, isn't it? What are you doing? That's precious data. Uh, wait. What did she say? Squishy? Kusukusunia? Karisu extracts her finger. P pieces of gel cling to her fingertip. Oh my god. This is fucked up. Hello, Skuma. She puts that fingertip into her mouth without any hesitation. Oh my fucking god. No taste. Gross. Skuma, no fucking way. So happy for you. We got, he's, Skuma's only got three bands. We could get him to five. <laughs> she says it with a straight face. <laughs> you have quite the appetite. You have a, you have quite the appetite, I see. A side effect of the resurrection, perhaps? If you're that hungry, I guess I could give you a banana or two. This is the Wattpad episode, officially. No, thanks. Either way, those bananas are Mayushi's. Come, don't be shy. This is an offering. Take it. da na 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 as if <laughs> she said hentai she said the magic words let's hear it again <laughs> as if who needs some pervs banana a pervs banana just had to make sure a pervs banana Dara starts shaking as if he's been electrocuted a pervs banana <laughs> What? What? What's wrong? Eat a purse banana? Squishy? Finger and mouth? Gross! With a sour expression? Looks like his cranial pervert processor is overclocking. Uh, can you say that one more time? With a more humiliated expression? If you please. Huh? Come on, say, who would eat some Perv's banana? But if you could add in a, uh, uh, but it's so, after that, uh, it would be extra delicious. <laughs> huh? Wow, this fucking ringtone is, does not chill. Miri. I don't think so. I haven't heard anything about them since before the big earthquake in Shibuya last year. And even if I found one, me, she has no one. Ooh, sorry, Miyushi. Uh, definitely fucking spent it on nanners, and I wasted one of them. Huh? Huh? Uh. Suddenly, Karusu's face turns bright red. <laughs> oh, Daru, you may be a worthless, disgusting hentai, but let me say, well done, sir. Payback is sweet. Now to follow up for maximum combo. Let's show this conceited little bitch how true adults fight. Fucking pathetically. So, Maki said Kirisu, you just imagined something, didn't you? By all means, tell us what. Don't be shy. <laughs> Why, you? Come on, say a genius girl. What's that imagination of a genius like? I'd love to hear from you. You. <laughs> She's saying the magic words! <laughs> Fucking Baka. Kurusu turns her back to us with a pet with perked shoulders. <laughs> Great how bits that take 12 seconds in the anime last 500 years in fucking game. <laughs> Looks like she's incapable of expressing human emotion after all. That rules that robotic killing machine. <sighs> I feel refreshed. I haven't felt this good in fucking years, dude. Way to go, Daro. That's my right hand man. Always gets the job done. Punches him on the shoulder. I get it. You're both pervs. Well, you could say that. Don't admit it, you fucking idiot. I don't want to hear that from you. Okay. If I came off as a little rude, I apologize. Karisu sighs deeply and turns back to us. Her composure has already returned. I was only acting that way because you molested me, but I'll ignore that for now. I wish you would stop saying for now. Looks like she's going to call the cops on me later. Please, tell me what happened to this banana. I'd also like to hear about that. Karisu glances at the phone wave, named subject to change. <laughs> that microwave thing. Ah, uh, wait. Boomer. 
That's top secret. The one thing I'm clued to share with unauthorized, unauthorized individuals is that its name is the phone wave. Name subject to change. Name subject to change? What's that about? Phone wave is weak. It needs a better name. It couldn't, I couldn't care less about his name. I'm afraid that's the only information you're cleared for. Hold on, Okarine. Makitashi might be able to explain what's going on. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> she is a genius. She would have to be. To, she would have to be to defeat my sharp wit. She would have to be. To, <laughs> she would have to be to, to defeat my my warp shit. I mean, uh, sharp sharp wit. I mean, sharp fuck. Uh, we can trust her intellect at least, but it's hard to stomach her attitude. Plus, she has danger written on her face. It's right there. I don't know if you guys read Japanese, but that's actually the kid, the character for danger is right on her face. Not to mention, she's a little scary, too. Then, I get a great idea. I shit my fucking diaper. That creepy grin. Are you thinking perverted thoughts again? You said your name's Christina, right? Sava? <laughs> well, that was Christina. I never said that. Christina sounds like the name of a Hollywood film star. It definitely has more flavor than her real name. If you wish to learn the secrets of this microwave, then you must meet my conditions. Which are... Condition one. You must become a lab meme. Ramen. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Holy shit. No, lab mem, stupid. Short for laboratory member. You mean you want me to join your research team? I'm supposed to return to America in August. I'll have you sign a non-disclosure agreement so you won't betray our secrets. <laughs> Break the agreement. And I'll resort to report your steamy perverted acts to Science Magazine. <laughs> Literally fucking molests her. <laughs> hey, I'll tell them how you, how you stuck a jelly banana in your mouth. You're a monster, Ocarine. You're a monster, Ocarine. I'll take five copies. It's fucking September. No. Wait. <laughs> art and time travel! Time travel art. Molesting and blackmail, let's go! <laughs> this guy's real. This Chuny Bio is a real stand up dude. From the moment you became a lab mem, to the moment you became a ramen, to the moment of your departure, your brain shall be used for the benefit of our lab. You're so full of it. Let me see the contract then. What contract? This is a lab, not a corporation. I don't mind lending you my knowledge, but if there's no more pervy nonsense evolved, the ants. But there is more pervy. <laughs> if there's no more pervy nonsense evolved, don't worry, I don't bite. No more molestation. You're so full of it. Let's see the contract. What kind of? Yeah, wait. I don't mind lending you my knowledge, but if there is more. If there's more pervy nonsense evolved, the answer is no. Don't worry, we don't bite. No more molestation. No. All right. You said that was condition one, so there's got to be a second one, right? It better not be. The second condition is that you, uh, you'll you overlook all past acts of molesta molestation. I may or may not acquit in. <laughs> Please don't molest me. Oh, no. You're so pretty. You're the prettiest person I've ever met. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. What an upstanding fucking citizen. Nice job. Um, Soko ni Shibereru Ako Gereru. Full quote. That's why we love you. That's what we admire you. A quotation from the popular manga, Juju's Bizarre Adventures, used to express ah at someone's capabilities, often used sarcastically in reference to negative character traits such as pettiness. Petty. Petty whore. Oh, Karin, you're so petty. You're so petty. Um. Shut up, Daru. You have no right to talk. By the way, Daru's preferred acts aren't included. You two can work it out yourselves. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? The hell, man? Those are the conditions. If you can't accept them, then you must leave at once. <laughs> so what shall it be? I don't think it's a bad deal at all. <laughs> Fucking death note. <laughs> Fucking death note over here. You mean for you. Kurisu puts her fingers to her brow and shakes her head in an exaggerated gesture. Noradrenaline. Jeez, I feel like I'm having cyper. I'm. I feel like I'm hyper secreting noradrenaline. Let me pick my job off the floor. What is that tip? I gotta read that, bro. A neurotransmitter secreted in the brain. A proper name: norepinephrine. Secreted when in an excited emotional state. I don't care about your dislocated jaw. Do you accept the conditions or not? Answer me, Christina. 
Stop adding Tina. My name's Kurisu. Kurisu. Kurisu looks up at the ceiling to calm herself down. <laughs> Does everyone in America make such a jattery gestures? It's true, we do. But I live in Canada. Sooner or later, she'll say, Die, damn, or oh my god, or motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, I accept. I wish that fucking line was read out loud. <laughs> Good answer. From this moment forth, you are lab mem number 004. Welcome, Christina. Codename the zombie. I won't answer to either. Use my real name, Hoin. We spend a minute staring each other down. Chris is the first to look away. She does so in a way that says, Good, yada yada. You're such a child. Ho and Komikyoma. Hoes and Koma. You say something, genius perv girl? Come on! No more saying perv. I won't treat you like a perv either, so let's stop it already. Drop it already. As long as you understand, now for the issue at hand. Daru, give Christina. No, Tina either. Give Krisukun an explanation on experiment on our experiment so far. But I refuse. <laughs> what the fuck is this? A quotation from the popular manga, let me fucking guess. Jojo's bizarre goddamn fucking adventure. On the internet, it is frequently used as a cool way to turn someone down. But I refuse. Daga <laughs> kotak. But I refuse. In the end, nothing really matters along the way. I also relate the tale of my heroic deeds, which enrages Kurisu, of course, but I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave names subject to change. Kurisu doesn't ask any questions. She's quick to understand, as expected of a Genius. As, a Gen as expected of a Genji main. Fascinating. Let's hear your opinion. I think we can at least, I think we'd at least throw out completely worse in the series like electromagnetic weaponry and teleportation. The lady doth protest too much. Protest. <laughs> the lady doth protest too much. Can we run the experiment one more time? I want to see it for myself. Without waiting for our approval, Karisu pluck, plucks an untouched banana and sticks it in the microwave, then starts entering the commands on her phone. It's strange. She's still wearing her usual frown, but I can't shake the feeling that she's really enjoying herself. I can't put my finger on why. Call it a hancha. But I mean, she is a scientist. Why shouldn't she enjoy experimenting? Okabe-san, Hashira-san, please, watch the bananas. Who are you to give me orders? I am the mad scientist. Oh, whatever. Just keep your eye on the bananas. Okay, so she's a little snippy. We can work past this, though. Daro and I do as we're told and stare at the bananas. Truth be told, we were planning to watch the bananas anyway. After missing it the first time, we're determined to witness what transpired with our own eyeballs. 60 seconds have passed. Any change? 60 seconds of pissed retention. Nope. Any second now, the jellified banana should reappear on the stem. If it only happens once, we can just call it an accident and be done with it. But if it happens twice, then that's proof that something's actually going on. And then Kurisu will have to admit that I, the great Hoin Kyoma, have invented humanity's first teleporter. I keep staring at the bananas in anticipation. Wattpad. 100 seconds. A few moments later, after Kurisu's report. A gel, a gel banana suddenly appears without a sound. Now there are two of them on the bunch. It happened faster than the blink of an eye. It appeared! I'm at a loss for words. All I can do is make bleat blowjab, blowjay noises. I just witnessed the unthinkable. That's what I was trying to do. This phenomenon is clearly teleportation. The microwave timer chimes. So it didn't. It happened a little bit before the timer went off. That's interesting. Carissa peeks into the microwave. Stomp. How does it look? Yeah. Oh, uh, a uh, uh, 104 seconds. It just dis disappeared abruptly. Yeah. She's quite flustered. I don't think many people could remain calm after witnessing such a phenomenon. So it is a teleporter, the first in human history. Kurusu <sighs> quickly calms down. She furrows her brow and crosses her arms. Then she shits her diaper, tapping her right foot as she mutters to herself. Teleportation? Is that even possible? It didn't move. 
No matter how unbelievable that, that may be, could it be quantum teleportation? No, that only occurs on the quantum level. Oh boy, you excited for this one? <laughs> Science does not refer to actual teleportation. In 2004, Japanese researchers performed the first successful complete quantum leap experiment. Suppose we have two, we suppose we have twin particles, photons in this case, A and B. Because they are twins, holy shit. <gasps> Dude, fucking Skuma, hello. Suppose we have twin particles, photons in this case, A and B. Because they are twins, they have the property of symmetry. If one exhibits upspin, the other will exhibit downspin. This means that observing either particle allows one to note the state of the other. Oh, this is called entanglement. That's why you couldn't see it until you blinked. The state of an elementary particle, photon, cannot be confirmed until observed. For the experiment, we attach data C. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you guys following this? The, inf the information we want to report to photon A. We are now observing photon AC. It's going good, Skuma. How's your day going? Um, based on the property of symmetry, we know that no matter how far away it may be, photon B will change to match, effectively becoming BC. Huh. Note that photon B has not yet been observed. Afterwards, we send photon AC's information from A's observation, equi uh, observation equipment to B's observation equipment through standard transmission. Now, observing photon B will change it to photon BC. This process is called quantum teleportation because data C changes position instantly. However, since one step requires using standard data transmission, it is impossible for the, st for the information to exceed the speed of light. Finally, Photon BC's teleported... Oh, no hyphen there anymore? What is this? Two out of fucking ten game? Um, Photon BC's teleported data C is actually a copy of Photon AC's uh, data C. The whereabouts of the original Photon C become unknown. This point differentiates quantum teleportation from actual teleportation. It'd be good if, he, if he, he would be... It's good. Be better if you time me out. I'll tell you what. There you fucking go. Yeah, simple stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, is your small little pea brain not keeping up, streamer boy? Um, I kind of get what it means. I think so. It just means like quantum teleportation. So they do. Because <sighs> they're twins. Okay. So it's like what they do that. So it's, it's I kind of get it in, in reference. It's like what they, so you take, you have like. I don't know. I for photons, fucking whatever. It's like you have one, and then you have one photon. And you have two photons. What you do to one is going to happen to the other in the opposite effect or something. Even if you're not watching it, you know that it has to be happening. And then I, I kind of get it. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm so sorry. They explain it better soon. Thank fucking Christ, my little fucking boy brain. But I, that's what's going on with the bananas. I know that. Is that that's why that's why it was like it didn't just happen and we could we could observe it. It blinked and that's why it happened. Because you can't. It's, it can't exist in that state if it's being observed. So that's, does that mean we blinked at the same time? Could it just not happen? Would it, would nothing happen if we just looked at the banana unless we until we blinked? I don't fucking know. We'll find out. They'll explain it. Could it be quantum teleportation? No, that only occurs on the quantum level. Don't avert your eyes from the truth. What you've seen with your own eyes is everything. She gives me a sharp look. Eh. Her eyes are like a sniper's, hard and keen. Did it really teleport? It's dangerous to reason from the conclusion. Well then, genius girl, what do you call this phenomenon? Nah. Mm. <laughs> Untimes your line. Ungels your banana. Let's sort this out. Neither the banana, neither the banana bunch nor the frozen chicken teleported. Wait, what? No, the frozen chicken teleported, correct? So, maybe there's a size limit for objects that can teleport. But aren't those chicken pieces smaller than the bananas? We use the same pick chicken for each experiment. They come in 12 packs. Mayor only buys her favorite. Juicy chicken number one. That's quite a lot then. <laughs> Comes in, steps into the fucking frame, walks out. What about salt? You experimented with salt too, right? We used a handful of table salt on a plate for one experiment. Nothing happened. Maybe the plate was in the way. Of course, we tried it without the plate, but that, of course, we tried it without the plate, but that didn't change anything. Then maybe each individual grain of salt was too small or something? Hmm. I need a clue. Looks like our genius girl is fighting a hard battle. She starts pacing the room, looking a little annoyed. Ha, huh, I get it. We've all been there. Dang and rope, am I right? I need a truth bullet, baby. Anything else? Have you noticed anything else about the phone wave? Name subject to change. Not phone wave. Phone wave, name subject to change. We're the same dude. We're, we are the same guy. Forget about that. 
So have you noticed anything or not? Therese is looking at Daro. She looks like she's asking him, not me. Okay, true. He should know about more about the phone wave. Names have to change than I do. He's done all the maintenance on it, after all. Oh, oh, right. One time, it shot off a huge electrical discharge. Discharge? What? I don't know anything about that. That's because you weren't around when it happened. Discharge? How much? <laughs> oh, <never mind. laughs> it was like a fluorescent light lit up the development room. It lasted about two seconds, I guess. What were the circumstances? I was adjusting the cell phone attached to it. I unhooked it and put my own in. A little bit later, Sparky Sparky. BB. When was that? Around noon yesterday, when you went to see Dr. Nakaba Daka Nakabachi's presentation. Dr. Nakabachi. That's right, I went to see Dr. Nakabachi's conference yesterday. Come to think of it, he stole his time travel theory from John Titer. Maybe he, maybe the current John Titer's actually Nakabachi. But wait, Daru, didn't you say that Dr. Nakabachi's presentation was canceled? Yeah, but you went with Mayushi anyway, remember? No, I don't remember that. After all, Nakabachi's presentation wasn't canceled the way I remembered it. I'm sorry, okay, wait, there's one L there. Two L's there. You want to explain that to me? I still understand why my memories seem to disagree with everyone else's. That reminds me, I sent you an email back then. Did you get it? An email? That email you showed me at Ask Titty Fuck yesterday? When I nod, Kurisu comes closer. It said someone stabbed me at the presentation room, didn't it? Yeah, but for some reason, Daru's phone received it a week ago. Is my phone Stein's Gate? Huh? It's not one of your stories. If it wasn't, then that would make the timestamp weird. I always speak the truth. If you don't trust me, I'll show you my send history. I whip up my cock and call up the history. But it's gone. Not a trace of that email remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after Dr. Nakabachi's conference. <laughs> so fucking fun to say, Dr. Nakabachi. About 10 people, including me, saw Kirisu's body, panicked, and fled Radicon. That's when I sent that email, that mail. But no matter how many times I check, there's no record of it. It should be there, but isn't. Just like the banana inside the phone wave, name subject to change. Where did it go? I could have sworn I sent it just before 1 p.m. Oh yeah, that's when the discharge phenomenon happened. <laughs> it's not funny. The show I was watching was about to end. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. Inspiration! Edison would be proud! This isn't something you could accomplish with effort. Basically, I'm a fucking genius. I turned to Dara and Kyrus with a huge grin on my face, and I grab one titty in each hand. I get it. So that's what happened. Uh, what? Oh, this is one of Ocarine's usual habits, so I don't mind, seriously. Silence! I've reached the answer, and now the world will tremble. I slap the top of the phone wave, names subject to change. The disappearance of my mail, the strange timestamp of the sudden electrical discharge must be related somehow. And <laughs> huh? I understand that they're related somehow, but how? It's your job to figure that out, Christina. Ah, Shida-san, talking to this guy is so tiring. Everyone's like that at first. The trick is to not take him seriously. And you call yourself my right-hand man. Whatever, I'll prove that I'm right. If we can reproduce the electrical discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to... If we can reproduce the vaginal discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. <laughs> Is that funny? Dar, describe the phone wave name to change status when the discharge phenomenon occurred. It was kind of a mess. I had connected my phone to the phone wave, and I was testing to see if I can control it with the X68000. I disconnect the phone... I disconnect the phone, plugged into the phone wave, name such as to change, and replace it with mine. And then I hear the door open in the lounge. I'm home, so hungry, can't wait to have some bananas. Miyushi comes in, carrying a convenience store bag. 
Looks like she's done with work. Fuck the fucking <laughs> romance visual novel. I should probably save. It's been a while. Looks like she's done with work. Time to eat some chicken. Number one. Did you buy the banana? Did you buy the bananas, Okarin? When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. <gasps> what a flat-chested woman! Once she notices Kurisu, Mary bows her head with her usual smile. I'm Mayushi. Nice to meet you. I'm Akasa. Apparently, I'm a lab mem now. Really? That's great! Another girl lab mem! Daru, what were you doing with the X-68000? Like I said, like I said, I was adjusting the incoming mail settings. I was monitoring the moment it received mail from remote control. That's why I put it on freezing mode for 120 seconds, too. I made it so you can start freezing mode by computer. I tested that out yesterday, too. Mary, insert the juicy chicken number one into the phone wave named such to change. You all want some? I could give you one each. With the usual ditziness, Mahiri puts the chicken inside the microwave. Unbeknownst to her, I was about to fuck up her fucking meal. Daru explains what everything on the computer monitor means. It doesn't look that different from using DOS. I know what DOS means. Dick, dick owners sucking. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, let's check it out. Short for disk operating system. An early 16-bit operating system. Nice. Um, okay. I enter 120 pound on the keyboard and strike the enter key. The phone wave, name subject to change, starts up. The juicy chicken, number one, starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Kurisu stares hard at the phone wave, name subject to change, as if to not let any yet uh, anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, we reproduced the conditions that existed when the discharge phenomenon, when the vaginal discharge phenomenon occurred, right? Uh, how was it again? You there, assistant! Huh? huh? Me? Who else? When did I become your assistant? Just send me some, send something to my phone. If we've reproduced the conditions correctly, then if she sent something to my phone while it's connected to the phone wave named subject to change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant, Kurisu, just scowls. I don't even know your email address. What a useless assistant. Don't fucking stop calling me your assistant. Daru, send an email from your phone. Uh, sure, but what? Anything. <laughs> uh... Um, sends dick pic by accident. Send Christine is a perv. I thought we agreed to stop saying that. <laughs> She's not denying it. Just stop saying it. Well, let's compromise and go with Ocarina's a perv. You traitor. Or should I say... Imposter. Skuma! No way. It's been so long. I... Oh, wow. He had to leave so early. That's so crazy. He just got out. He just got here. Where'd he go? Poor guy. Good job, Ahashida-san. Kurisu grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. Hey, Skuma. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> Ruining your fucking day. Makisa is going to start making him sandwiches without being asked. <laughs> it's, it's turning into a fucking anime. And she's going to be like, what am I doing? I don't want to do this. I really don't like this. Sounds like Miri has found the results of our latest experiment. Oh fuck! Oh no! Fucking Jesus Christ! My my fucking pimple bananas! They became gel bananas. We experimented on them, but they were my machines. Want me to send the mail now? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you'll be reimbursed later by Hoin San. That is. Why me? Jeez, why do you always have to experiment on my Yushi's food? At least you're not experimenting on my juicy chicken number one. Don't tell me you're experimenting on the chicken too. We are. <laughs> I look down at the floor. Okay, sending it now. Sending, sending. Click. 
Miyuri slips past me and sets up to the active phone wave. Name subject to change. No, wait. No, she's getting inside of it? No, Baba. No, no, wait. Don't do it. Before anyone can react, she grabs the handle. Wait, don't open that! Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something very bad is going to happen. Something very fucking bad. But it's too late. I'm, I'm prepared to see fucking flesh just sprayed all over the walls. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Should probably just get teleported. Blue white light fills the room, crackling angry like the heart of a storm. <laughs> An electrical discharge! A violent sparking sound. I grab my earring, pull it away from the phone wave. Name touches to change. Nice, a hero. Are we gonna die? <laughs> the fucking slightly, slightly upset look. The sound of my asshole being spread open. Oh, okay. A thin cloud of smoke fills the room. <laughs> Daru's fucking hitting that. Fat fucking vape. Wow. Sounds like something's burning. <laughs> My eyes are numb, flashing from all the light. I look down. Mayuri's charred fucking corpse is all <laughs> is covered in ash. I try blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Kurisu and Daru coughing. <laughs> Everyone okay? Somehow. That was definitely more than two seconds. Mayuri squeezes my upper arm with her slender fingers. Is it Mayuri though? Oh, oh Kareem? Um, what just happened? My vision gradually returns. Wow, this looks fucking cursed. This is, this is the fucking Steins Gate fucking <laughs> creepypasta uh, thumbnail. Mayuri looks perplexed. Are you okay? No burns or anything? Uh, it doesn't hurt anywhere, so I think I'm okay. Looks like covering Mayuri was the right choice. I may be an insane mad scientist, but I still risk life and limb for the safety of my tovarish. Dragoi tovarish! I gently let Mayuri out of my embrace. Woo! Well, that was something. At least I'm fine. I look down. My lack of legs surprises me. I wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> hey, look at this! Kurusu's voice is strained. With my vision finally restored, I take another look around the room, and what I see strikes me speechless. The large table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we place the phone wave named subject to change and the 8x6800 on it, because they weigh about 70 people between them. The table has been split in two, as if by a woodcutter's axe. The computer and other parts connected to the microwave are scattered across the floor, and the microwave itself has broken through the table. <gasps> Just like the satellites. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's literally stuck in the floor. What the hell? How did that? Yeah, it's a microwave, but it's not heavy enough to make a hole in the floor. This can't be caused by electrical discharge. Some, some other phenomenon? I shake off my surprise. There's no time to be standing with jaw agape. Ho in Kyoma. Seize the moment. <laughs> Just as my calculations predicted. First, some maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual. But unfortunately, it's still plugged in the phone wave name subject to change. El Sai Kongru. I whisper the words. Words that have no meaning. Words I use simply because they sound cool. Those words have meaning because they have no meaning. After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. So, about Mayushi's chicken. <laughs> Mayuri stands up and looks inside the phone wave, name subject to change. It's embedded in the floor, but she somehow managed to pry the door open. <laughs> Mayushi's chicken is all burnt and black! 
I pat Miyushi's shoulders to cheer her up. Juicy chicken number one. I gotta hear him say that. <laughs> Do they say juicy? Juicy chicken num number one. Made a noble sacrifice for the progress of science. Let us pray for his happiness in the next life. The chicken doesn't matter. Right now, we need to determine what happened with the phone. Wait. It doesn't matter. That's so mean, uh, Christina chan. Hey, oh, we kill my. Do something about this. Mayushi san's learned my name wrong. More importantly, we need ventilation. <laughs> Silence all of you. I have fixed everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward <laughs> in a new direction. Am I am I gonna be suddenly I get a job offer from CERN? I'm the guy that I'm fucking John Titer. These guys have no right to ruin that with their foolish talk. My heart pounding, knees weak, spaghetti. I attach my I detach my phone from the phone wing, name subject to change. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it, it still works. <laughs> Oh, hello. I bring up the list to receive emails. New emails should come at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. The topmost email isn't the one Daru sent before the discharge occurred. That's impossible. This impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. I look back through my email history, and there I find it. Ocarina's a peat. Mwahaha. 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 Success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. I received this email on July 24th, five days ago. This is the same exact thing that happened to my someone stabbed Kurisu's email. A mail sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th. And just now, the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. It all connects. There's a meaning behind this series of events and only one true answer. I've discharged, I mean discovered the phone wave name subject to change is true hidden function. This is an intuition. That's right. This is conviction. Just spit it out. What do you think it is? I feel my lips twist into a grin. I meet Kurisu's glare head on. First, let me say one thing. The greatest inventions are created by accident. This we call serendipity. Get on with it. <gasps> How dare she ruin my speech? Oh well, let's get to the point. The mail was sent to the past. The chicken returned to its frozen state. The plucked banana returned to the bunch. No way. Wait, I'm sorry, I missed all that. Get on with it. How dare she ruin my speech? Oh, well, let's get to the point. The mail was sent to the past. The chicken returned to its frozen state. The plucked banana returned to the bunch. Cruz just seemed to get it now. As expected of my genius assistant. Yes way! This is the choice of Steins Gate. The phone wave name subject to change. It's a time machine. The time travel paranoia. We fucking did it, gamers. Let's fucking do it. Complete chapter one clear. The dawn of a new goddamn fucking day. That's fucking right. Wait, new unread. What's unread? Oh, we're fine. Okay, never mind. Thought there was some stuff there. Well, look at that fucking shit. I know this episode's a little behind. It's a little it's gonna be a little shorter than normal, but we did it extra time in the last one. And this seems like a fucking perfect to let it off, man. It got that <laughs> that thick fucking uh um, there's, you know, re enough resolution, but also enough of a cliffhanger to uh, make us all kind of happy. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try not to forget that I have mail. And if I do, I have saved already. So it's okay. Let me just make sure I ha I've actually fucking saved. Suck Spence. You know what I mean? Suspense. Sussy Spence. All right. But we're going to call it here for the YouTube video. Uh, so I just want to say thanks for watching. So the, the phone wave did the exact same thing that the satellite did. Which makes me wonder if that was our crew doing that uh, in the future to something or if that's something else. I'm not too sure. Skuma says, fuck you. And I, I really appreciate it. Honestly, I deserve that. I was timing you out for no good reason. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I want to do it. I just had the urge to just to fuck just to troll you as if you know. 
Goodbye to you, Skuma. I also hope that you also have a good day. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can never see me. You can please see me play live. It's on Twitch in the description uh, and uh, some other links down there. I have a clips channel if you ever want some of that too, just to get like little bite sized content. You can, you can check it out. But uh, enough plugging my shit. Let's plug your shit. Thank <laughs> you.